the maker of this robot wants to change the way cities are built. We started off actually building a fully teleoperable robot. So the idea was that the very first delivery we ever did was completely controlled by a person remotely. And then we started introducing AI gradually, but there was a point where the AI was better than the human operator. And we noticed it because the human operators were making more mistakes than the AI was. The way they've made their robot autonomous isn't any different than other kinds of self-driving cars. They use cameras, LiDAR, and software to let the robot navigate its environment. What makes this robot unique is that it has what's called level four autonomy. So Tesla is a very good example of level two autonomy. The holy grail in this industry is level four, which is a robot that can be by itself without people involved some parts of the time in some designed areas. And that's what we've actually achieved. There's a good reason why their robot is able to have level four autonomy. And that's because it operates exclusively on the sidewalk, where if the robot does run into a problem, it can simply stop and request help from a remote operator. With tech, there is always this risk when you create a new thing that hasn't existed, that you might miss the mark. You may actually have unintended consequences. How do we make sure that what we are creating actually serves the purpose that we are looking for, which is serving people? We wanted to make sure that the robots are in the service of humans and not the other way around. That means all humans. That means everybody on the sidewalk. Sidewalk is one of those places that people come from every walk of life. 